Hi, my name's Ramon Chaban. On behalf of my co-editors, Brett Mitchell, Deborah Macbeth, and Phil Russo, welcome to the Epidemiology of Healthcare Associated Infections in Australia, first edition. Healthcare Associated Infections, or HAIs, are a major threat to patient safety and the quality of healthcare globally. Despite this, Australia does not have a National Healthcare Associated Infection Surveillance Program unlike most OECD countries around the world. Epidemiology of Healthcare Associated Infections in Australia, first edition, presents for the first time original data and analyses documenting the epidemiology of HAIs in Australia. In Australia, at the time of writing, the publicly available HIA data depict a variable landscape with large sections uncharted. While there's considerable HIA surveillance data collected by Australian jurisdictions, limited data are published or made publicly available. There is a lack of standardised and systematic approach to surveillance definitions and methodology. The peer-reviewed literature provides some additional data on the incidence of HAIs in Australian hospitals, albeit limited, making it difficult to calculate accurately the epidemiology of infection. It does, however, provide a limited view of the epidemiology of HAIs in Australian hospitals that use a variety of different methods and definitions, sometimes which are unstated in different populations. The recent introduction of Hospital Acquired Complications, or HACS, has further added to the information that is gathered on HIIs in Australia, albeit not publicly reported. The proportions of HII Hospital Acquired Complications, published in this report for the first time, provide some information regarding the burden of HAC-defined HIIs across Australian jurisdictions for 2017 to 2019. Results derived from HAC data are based on the interpretation of clinical records. They remain unvalidated. Furthermore, these HAC data represent the proportion of HAs by state and territory and lack a numerator and denominator data and procedures included in the data are undifferentiated in terms of procedure, classification and infection type. The absence of a unified national HIA surveillance system that includes or takes into consideration these data types, definitions and methodologies precludes an accurate estimate of the epidemiology and burden of HIAs in Australia. Australia does not have a National Healthcare Associated Infection Surveillance Program, unlike most OECD countries around the world. Without national surveillance, we do not understand the burden of HIAs nor can we accurately assess the effects of national infection prevention initiatives. Epidemiology of healthcare associated infections in Australia, first edition, illustrates that the lack of a unified national surveillance system undermines our efforts to prevent and control healthcare associated infections in Australia.